so now whenever we have an acute stroke and we'll also be discussing other causes of diffusion restriction what you're going to see is that it's going to be high per intense on dwi and the corresponding adc image should be hypo intense remember you will never interpret dwi without adc always always remember always place them together and interpret them in conjunction so in acute stroke the typical finding you know in less than 10 days is going to be a true diffusion restriction that you are seeing as we go along as the days passes what we observe in case of stroke is they appear hyper intense on dwi but the adc signal becomes normal so what you are seeing here is that there is pseudo normalization of adc the hypo intensity that we were seeing here is now gone so as the stroke progresses subacute stage it remains hyper intense but adc is gone and here lies the importance of why we have to see them together anything which is hyper intense on dwi is not diffusion restriction right and in chronic strokes what we'll observe it is still hyper intense on dwi and now it becomes hyper intense on adc as well and this phenomenon is what we call as t2 shine through so t2 shine through is what we see in chronic stroke again this is something which is not diffusion restriction right so we need to always see them in in context